have that on my mind is, is making sure we get what we have coming. Um, but I do think the trip was, like I said, very successful. I was able to go to the bid uh, presentation for the 2020 Olympics um, that Tokyo has bid on. Um, I believe they will be successful. They are up against, uh, oh, I can't, it's a, it's a country that has major conflicts in it right now. And I think Tokyo will be successful in landing the 2020 Olympics. There's only uh, uh, maybe a month left before they make that announcement. And uh, it's important because someday um, Denver may want to uh, bid for the Olympics again. And, and if that happens, it's not just Denver that benefits. It's the surrounding communities that have to participate as well because of the, the need for space. And, and I really think having our sports complex and all the external fields gives us an advantage to uh, partake in that. So I, I know there was a part of that was to see what the bid process was about. And I think my takeaway was it's guiding us into um, the opportunity that Denver may uh, participate in the bid process soon uh, for a future Olympic uh, proposal. So, like I said, I learned a lot. I was extremely busy, but ultimately I think the, the benefit was the relationships. I did meet with, uh, I believe they're the top, they're number three for the biggest businesses worldwide, which is uh, Samsung. Uh, Samsung. Thanks, Renee. I always have a hard time remembering that one. Samsung. And uh, now because of the direct flight and the opportunity for international trade in Colorado, um, we're going to be uh, continuing to have some conversations with Samsung. I think that uh, it's important that we build that relationship and try to draw their interests into Commerce City. Um, there were no deals made while we were out there. Um, and I know that, that some folks thought that when we went out there, Denver was going to sign a bunch of deals and, and had development plans for the airport, and that's, that's totally untrue. Um, but it was a very successful trip, and I would be glad to share my itinerary or any of the information that I brought back with anybody who would like to see it. And I, I would like to report that the, you, uh, as a council, approved me a city credit card to take with me while I was out there, and I want to let you know that there were no charges made on that city credit card. And overall, uh, the city's cost for my, my trip, my expenses totaled a mere $80. So um, for $80, I think the city benefited um, strongly on the relationship opportunities and, and uh, the international trade piece that I got to be educated on myself. So um, anyone wants any more information on Japan or Korea, I'd be glad. Uh, to share that, and I brought back a lot of credit, uh, business cards for all the contacts that I personally made, and uh, the city's scanning those in now, and they will make follow-ups, and that'll be part of our economic development uh, department's uh, role. And I will be sending out thank you cards to uh, all the folks um, that showed an interest in, in Commerce City particularly, and I will be thanking the Denver EDC and those folks who uh, took care of, of paying for my trip so that I could go and, and participate on the city's behalf. So, yes, sir. Do you see, foresee in the future uh, Denver, the Ishan flight? Was that part of the reason why you went to Korea? You know, I think there's potential for, for a direct flight to Ishan, but I think right now, um, from my understanding, they're working uh, – real hard on a on a direct flight to Panama and so uh, I would my guess is that uh, we'll probably see Panama as uh, uh, one of those in the top running for for a direct flight I know the governor was just in Panama uh, a week or two ago and uh, I know they're they're pursuing that but with the opportunities and the new um, airport technology the airline technology um, because of where Commerce City and Denver and are located with that DIA, um, we're a central hub to the United States, and it makes perfect sense for uh, components to be brought in, taken outside the fence to manufacturing opportunities, have those assembled and have them distributed throughout the United States or go back through the cargo process and be distributed uh, worldwide. So, so we do have the benefit of our location and transportation opportunities uh, as well as the fact that we're we're gaining in technology to have nonstop 
type flights to Asia and, and all other continents. So um, I, I learned a lot, and it's going to, uh, again, I'm still dealing with the jet lag, but uh, I would be glad to um, spend more time with anybody on a personal basis that would like to know more about um, the information that I have. I, I brought it all back. I, I have everything in the office. Um, and again, I'll, I'll, I'll distribute that as necessary and, and answer any questions any may, anybody may have. Um, I want to leave that my report for now. Um, I could go into to several other <clears throat> other things that happened the week prior, but my uh, my thought process isn't quite there because I still think there's part of Sean in in Japan that hasn't caught up with me yet. So uh, we'll leave it at that. And if there's no further business to come before the city this evening, Mr. Douglas has something. I just want to thank the staff and the, for uh, the outreach. Uh, last Thursday it was a really good turnout. Uh, beside the, the the weather we had there for a while, and uh, thank the citizens for coming out and supporting the city. Thanks. Good call, Mr. Douglas. Mr. Bullock, you have something? If uh, the staff could print the five winners of the "If I Were Mayor" essay contest in the paper. But I also want to give um, props to Miss Daly. All five of the winners came from one teacher's class at Adams City Middle School, Miss Daly. And of the 50 that we read um, that night, uh, how many of them were from Miss Daly's? Uh, I have never seen such an askew class that were right on it on what it took to be mayor as far as um, all the little uh, ins and outs that you would not even think that uh, they would know about, you know. Uh, but they were, some of those essays hit the nail right on the head. So I just want to see if we can, when our next paper goes out, those are in it so those students also get the acknowledgement from the community that didn't get to see or hear that tonight. Anyone else? Seeing no one, no more business coming for the city. We're adjourned. It is. It opened on the tenth. On Saturday. I'm